Hey guys, Officer Alert here uh, with Jeremy and Luke. What's good? <laughs> and we're back at Six Flags Great Adventure. Walking past the Dream Street area next to the Big Wheel, the Flavors of the World stuff is all set up still. And we're also passing by this like self-serve convenience store type of thing. I actually initially thought it was a convenience store because Quick Six is the name that they use backstage for the employees only convenience store, but it's it's sort of that, but also it sells like uh, nano coasters and stuff. You have to tap or insert your debit card here at this turnstile when you enter. And, oh, cool, he's gonna do it for us. <laughs> Go, oh my God, wait, no, it might. Oh, it's, is it letting all of us in? Oh, sweet. Okay, if no one's looking. And so yeah, you just kind of grab anything here and then um, you walk out the turnstile with it and it'll scan. <laughs> it knows we're here, clearly. I'm sure there's someone sitting in like a security office somewhere. I know, I'm not touching anything either. It does say that you can though. Look, it says change your mind, put it back, no charge. So hopefully, I mean, yo guys, check out these uh, hats over here for El Toro and Kai. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, J Jeremy didn't buy anything and no. it's, it's letting us out. Um, so yeah, hopefully nothing gets charged on your card. I'd be so funny if like Six Flags is trying to make up for lost profits and they're just like, hmm, maybe we could get away with like some gummy bears. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't use your pass discount with that. I know, yeah, that's the only thing about it is you can't um, use your pass discount. But yeah, I know if, if you're here on a day ticket, that's kind of a cool option. So you wouldn't have to like wait in line theoretically at another store. But yeah, we're going over toward Nitro and check that out. Yeah, you walk right around Granny's Grilled Chicken Restaurant and you see like the skyline right there. It's just Jersey Devil Coaster. We're in line for Nitro now. Um, neither one of us have been on the new Nitro train that they got um, over the last off season. I think it's the D train, so we're gonna go try and, and wait and get on that one. Yeah, it's going up the lift actually. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get it. There, there it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, do you guys hear that? It's playing the uh, Mortal Kombat music. They changed it last season, I think. They added a bunch of different songs into the, the rotation for the music they play inside the station. Don't forget to check out other rides like the Jolly Roger. We just got off the VNM Hypercoaster Night Did you guys have fun? I guess. Yeah. I mean, out of all of the BNM hypers you've ridden this trip, Luke, how does it rank? I've only rode one. Oh, you've only been on one? Oh, what yeah. was the one you've been on? This one. This one? Oh, really? Wow. That's impressive. Like, wait, hold on. Tell the tell the vlog how many parks you've been to on this trip. Um, at least 15 or 20. Yeah, and then tomorrow we're going tomorrow we're going to Knoebel. So we're going to throw our stuff in the locker, ride Jersey Devil Coaster, and we'll see you all in a bit. Yeah, this Rapids ride doesn't have much in the way of theming or anything like that. No, it does have a couple of things. Have you been on this one? Okay. So this is like sort of the intro, but they're, they're like, I feel I feel like there should be like more effects over there. There's not. Oh, what? oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Sorry. That was kind of violent. I think they might have cranked up the volume a little on the water. Oh, oh no! Oh! oh no, Luke, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was gonna be like this. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's okay, it's pretty hot out, so. It's just too bad the sun isn't out. <laughs> That's why no one was in line for this thing. It was a trap. <laughs> oh, there's more. I remember I did a behind the scenes tour of this ride one time when the water was the water was drained though. <laughs> Which is so lame. I was like, why does the water I think it was like during that time of the season when they were like getting ready to transition. <laughs> you know that time of the year when people get ready to transition? to the rapid, they turn it off. <laughs> Look at that view of nitro though. That's a nice drop. It's not like a nice drop as far as rapid or hyper drop go. I'm gonna get it. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh no! Okay, alright. They turned up the water on this one. I don't remember getting you that wet. Like, I'm almost completely drenched head to toe right now. And then we still have that blaster thing to deal with. Oh crap. Someone's gonna get that if we go close to it. I know, I'm so sorry, Luke. I told him it wasn't that good of a rapid drive, and then this happens. You're, you're, you're pretty wet. And then we have this here to deal with. I think... Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> that was good. You know what? Ow. That's, that's better than the ride I got on the one in Bush Gardens, Tampa. Yeah, that one sucked for me. Uh, this one is so much better than that. I did um, Calgo at Knott's. Knott's is pretty good. Yeah? Looking at the wait times over here. I think Disney wait times are off, and these ones are always off too. But right now, I'm pretty sure these are right, because there's like no one at this park. With thunderstorms forecasted coming in in a little while, right, we're going to go head over toward Ka and Toro. Toro. After we put you guys in the locker, we rode Jersey Devil Coaster a few times. That was really good. We rode it in the back three rows, I think, both times. And right now we're passing by Skull Mountain. Oh, the Skyway is stopped currently. Could be for a couple of different reasons. They have sensors on some of the towers, or at least one of them, that'll trip off if the wind level gets too high. I don't know what the speed is. But yeah, the, the wind probably tipped off one of the sensors and caused it to stop. So I'll have to wait for maintenance to come and reset it. It's a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man without any arms. It's just like a wacky flute, wacky tube, and I just knocked my head into that thing. <laughs> what flavors of the World Food Festival? It's so well presented. I love the little palm trees they have set up. It looks like a tropical bar. Oh, that's because we're in the Mexico area. <laughs> that makes sense. It's cool. They even went the extra mile and added like music and a little bit of theming to each of the little food trucks. It's cool. <laughs> Those maintenance guys are looking up at the wind sensor. <laughs> Jeremy's making the Toro airtime sound. <laughs> oh, it sounds like it's running slow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so sorry guys. It, it appears that Toro is running kind of slow. He wants to go ride cop because there might be a thunderstorm in the area coming in pretty soon. Oh no, the Skyway stopped again and it just started moving a minute ago. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, looks like King Ka's closed. Hopefully it's just down for some type of technical difficulties and they can get it fixed because uh, there is some weather in the area. be closed but this thing definitely isn't Whoa. running good we're gonna ride that pretty soon twist is closest is cooling <laughs> it is cooling we are about to ride and it actually might duel though King Naka is about to reopen to ride. if it this does look at all these geese they're scared of the coasters Oh, they're, they're scared of Medusa's loud roar. They're migrating to a quieter place where there's less roller coasters. Ah, now with Cod back open, we're gonna run over there before it breaks down again, because you know, it doesn't have the best track record. King the Cop break, breaks down more than it's open. <laughs> but yeah, we had uh, three three rides there on Zoom and Jaro. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, we just got off that big green monster in the background, King the Cop. We rode it three times in a row. Uh, once toward the back, and then uh, twice up toward the front in, in uh, row two. 
but they actually have to fill the trains now with at least 14 people to send it. And they were, fight, they were like trying to find a single rider for the train that was waiting ahead of us, so we couldn't actually get unloaded. And uh, yeah, our friend um, Luke is actually still riding it. He's he's like marathon. And he's like three and done, three and done. Yeah, me and <laughs> me and Jeremy here, we got off after three, but yeah, he's just going. He says says he's gonna stay on for like ten rides. I'm gonna go over to El Toro and check out Macho Nacho, and Jeremy's gonna go ride it. Oh, we're chilling over here by El Toro. We got Kyle from, what's your... Uh, theme Park Films Industries on YouTube. Theme Park Films Industries. I'm sorry, I'm like a little bit special. I can't remember all of that. <laughs> really nice to meet you, man. You too. Go subscribe to that. Okay, we're back over by El Toro now. We got Luke. How many times did you end up riding, Kyle? Eight. Eight. Eight and, times. And then it broke down, right? Big broke. Big broke. <laughs> Big broke. <laughs> did it roll back? Oh, not real back in the way. Launch cable snap, that's what big broke means to me. <laughs> we're getting a locker over here. We're gonna go ride this thing a few times. That train seems to be running a little faster than the other one. I was just watching the other one go, and it was like kind of weak looking. Just got off El Toro three times in a row. Oh my God. That ride is just like, it's too much sometimes. And it's not because the ride's getting rougher because they actually made it a little bit smoother. But uh, yeah, it's just like, I feel like even on non-wheel seats, uh, it's just a little bit too much for me. But I can still marathon it sometimes. Anyway, we're gonna head over here and grab a Dole Whip if it's open. Is this place villain snacks over in front of the Joker? Not really sure how I feel about this. There's one of two smoking sections in the park right over here in front of the lake really pretty nice view you can smoke your cigarette that's cool however they just put this vip cabana rental spot right up next to it and the the wind currently is blowing straight downwind from the smoking section into the vip cabanas so i feel really bad for those people in there paying money to get a nice experience when there's just cigarette smokers right next door which is fine i mean if you're a cigarette smoker you don't mind it it's great but you know, I understand that people who don't smoke cigarettes sometimes don't like the smell of it. So I don't understand why they couldn't have placed that VIP section somewhere a little bit different or moved the smoking area to a different location as well. There's some different options they could have worked with. Didn't end up like that, but here's our spot. We're gonna grab our dole up here. So the parks no longer have a photo pass department, but it's nice that they have somebody here to take pictures with your phone because I mean, that's what guests have wanted all these years anyway. We don't want people asking if you want your photo taken even though sometimes it is convenient like when you're at disney world and you have the photo pass you get your photo taken at unique locations around the parks there that's that's one thing but they used to have like two or three photo pass people out here on the midway trying to get uh pictures taken you know hey come on take a photo in front of the fountain and stuff especially now with cell phones and stuff it's just so easy to just pull your phone out and take photos with that instead so it's nice to see that they have a team member outside taking photos with the guests <laughs> Those trees have Christmas lights on them. <laughs> Pineapple Dole Whip acquired. But with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Dude.